So with the US House passing the climate bill onto President Biden for him to sign, what does that mean for EV tax credits? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Anthony and welcome to my EV Tesla channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the EV tax credits that were just passed in the Senate, the House, and now being passed on to President Biden so that they're effectively law. So let's talk about all the details. So in this article from Electric, it says, as it stands, many of the bill's electric vehicle provisions are expected to go into effect for cars put into service after December 31st, 2022, and will stay in place through 2032, according to Consumer Reports. For new electric vehicles, a $7,500 tax credit could be applied at the point of sale. Those who purchase used EVs could be eligible for up to a $4,000 tax credit, the legislation would also do away with the previous limit that kept EV manufacturers from being able to offer tax credits once they sold 200,000 vehicles. I do have some details for you regarding that $7,500 tax credit. So when it says at the point of sale, that actually won't be happening until 2024. So in 2023, the point of sale thing won't apply and you'll have to do your taxes at the end of the year to get that $7,500 credit. Now, as far as the $4,000 credit, this is only gonna to apply to EVs under $25,000. So this isn't gonna be for Tesla Model 3s or Model Ys. This is gonna be for cars that really don't even exist yet because I don't even know an EV that's under $25,000. So as far as income goes, you will be able to get this tax credit if you make less than $150,000 a year as a single filer, or for married couples filing jointly, that income limit would be $300,000. And for individuals who file as as a head of household, $225,000. There are also caps for the price of the vehicles. So for new vehicles, the manufacturer's suggested retail price for sedans would need to be below $55,000 to be eligible for the tax credit, which automatically makes the Tesla Model 3 long range not eligible. And for SUVs, trucks, and vans, that price cap would be $80,000. So if you're looking at the Tesla Model Y long range or performance, both of those would actually qualify for this tax credit. So the question is, should you buy an EV now or should you wait for these tax credits? Well, it's really going to be up to you because maybe the EV that you want isn't going to qualify for the tax credits. I know that there's something about how the batteries have to be sourced from North America too, at least like a certain percentage of them. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, so that alone could disqualify a lot of vehicles. So you might want to figure out where the EV's battery is being sourced that you want to buy to be able to see whether you should buy the EV or not. Um, personally, if you wanna know my opinion, I would just buy the car that you want if you can afford it because EVs are gonna save you money anyway and you could always upgrade your EV later. Keep in mind this tax credit goes until 2032. So you could buy the Tesla you want right now and sell it in two years and get the tax credit. So just buy the EV you want now. They're gonna save you money. They're fun cars. They're packed with technology. I wouldn't wait for the government government's tax credits to buy the car. If you do want to go that route, I know a lot of people have probably been waiting since 2021 when this bill was first brought up. Now here we are almost in 2023. It's been a few years. So, you know, we're almost there if you do want to wait. That is just my take. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button and notification bell. That way you're updated when I create new videos. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.